breaking news. Another coup in Africa. Massive tension and anxiety has security forces launch attack to take over city gates. See the country, you will be shocked. In a dramatic turn of events, heavy gunfire erupted in the heart of Conakry, the capital city of Guinea, on Saturday, November 4, 2023. The city found itself under lockdown as security forces sealed off the area, causing tension and uncertainty among its residents. An eyewitness from the area, speaking on condition of anonymity, described the chaotic scene, revealing that gunfire emanated from both automatic weapons and even more consigning weapons. Of the war. The epicenter of this turmoil was Kalubu, the political and administrative heart of Konakri, where the streets resonated with the sound of conflict. The city center has been sealed off since then, and we can enter non leave. A local shopkeeper lamented. Even individuals attempting to go about their daily routines were met with roadblocks and a heavy presence of armed vehicles. It was a day of turmoil and apprehension for the citizens of Conakry. This unsettling incident is yet another manifestation of the instability that has plugged Guinea in recent years since 2020. The country has witnessed a series of coups and it is not alone in facing such challenges. The neighboring nations like Mali and Burkina Faso have experienced similar political upravings in pavings in the same year. Niger and Gabon have also grappled with political instability, creating a turbulent environment in the region. The head of Guinea, Jontas Colonna, Madi Don Breuer, rose to power in September 2021 through a coup, putting an end to 11 years of civilian rule. These political changes have left the nation on edge, with each new development causing concern and uncertainty for its citizens. As the situation in Conakry unfolds, the international community watches with bated breath, hoping for a resolution to the turmoil and a return to stability in this corner of West Africa. The people of Guinea, like their neighbors, yearn for a future free from the specter of coups and conflicts when they can rebuild and move forward in peace. So guys, what's your take on this? The West African nation of Guinea is in a dramatic turn of event has been thrust into the spotlight following a daring prison break that led to the release of one Morsoa Dadis Kamara, the notorious leader of the 2008 coup. The incident unfolded in the early hours of Saturday when armed um, assassins stormed Conakry Central Prison amidst uh, on gun fire, prompting a swift lockdown of the city's administrative quarter. In a dramatic turn of events, this is another news headline. The U.S. government has sent a strong warning to its nationals living in Nigeria, stating that big hotels in the larger cities in the nation are under evaluated threats. This warning was released by the U.S. on November 3rd in an emergency notification for citizens. According to the advice, efforts are being made by Nigerian Security Service to neutralize the threats. It stated that before checking into any hotels, 
the U.S. citizens should be conscious in large hotel, be aware of their surroundings, maintain a low profile, and study the travel advice for Nigeria. The notice reads, the U.S. government is aware of credible information that there is an uh, elevated threat to major hotels in Nigeria's larger cities. The Nigerian Security Service are working delightedly to counter the threat. The U.S. Develop, the U.S. Department of State advised the U.S. citizens to consider this information when arranging or lodging or visiting major hotels in Nigeria. In case any U.S. citizen needed assistance, the message also included the locations and phone numbers of the U.S. Consulate in Lagos and the U.S. Embassy in Abuja. Remember that the United States of America cautioned all of its nationals traveling to different parts of the world in October. The third level of warning alert reconsidered to travel was appealed to Nigeria, applied to Nigeria. The security crisis is a big issue in Nigeria recently. Security personnel have freed the two U.S. consulate employees in Nigeria who were taken hostage following the attack on their vehicle on Thursday in Ogbaru local government area in uh, Anambra State. In a press conference to journalists in Oka on Friday, DSP Tochiku Ikenga, the spokesperson for the state police, reviewed this. Ikenga stated that they were saved unarmed in the wee hours of Friday by the combined security force despite the fact that their names and identities remain secret. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for stopping by.